So we're investing in our core UK uh, facilities, so both in Burton Latimer and Corby in Northamptonshire. That will enable us to bring new interesting variants of Weetabix to our core UK market, but also we export to 80 markets around the world, so that will enable us to do that, particularly China, which is a big opportunity for us, and we, you know, we doubled the business there last year. So we're seeing a growing demand and desire for uh, British foods in, in places like China. But still the majority, over 70% of our business is, is UK. We're seeing the market is relatively flat, but if you look at the sort of healthier brands, it's not just our brands of Weetabix and Alpen, other brands, there's still that growing desire and we're seeing good growth there. Um, we believe that we can grow yet further and that's, that's what this investment's all about. What about the relationship with the supermarket? So we had a very well publicised spat just before Christmas between Tesco and Unilever over the price of Marmite. Are you feeling under pressure from supermarkets to reduce your prices or keep them constant? I think there's a constant dialogue. You know, they're incredibly important partners in the, in the process. I think that was a slightly different thing related to uh, the Brexit impact and so on. But, you know, what we try and do working closely with all, all our customers is how can we grow, add value and defend the categories we're involved in. So, you know, particularly the larger UK supermarkets have had the challenge of the discounters entering in. You know, our role is to work with all customers and find a way that we can help them be successful in the category that we operate in. But presumably you are facing some cost pressures as a result of the weaker pound, wheat prices, for example. Absolutely. So w the one thing we do know about Brexit from our side of the fence is that obviously sterling's weakened. The majority of our raw materials are either dollar or euro-based commodities, and therefore we have some impact there. But our primary role will always be to look to offset that inflation internally by trying to run the business more efficiently, more effectively. It was reported just before Christmas that your majority Chinese shareholder has put their stake up for sale. What's the situation on that right now? Well, we don't you know, comment on rumour and speculation. The one thing I do know about both my investors is they're backing this investment and they believe in the long-term growth prospects for our brands in the UK. And as I said earlier on in our discussion, you know, our export as well as you know, what we're trying to do in China. And this investment, how many more jobs will it create? Well, we're just working through the finer details of that. There will be some incremental jobs associated. The most important thing is we have incremental capacity and really to the employees, to all stakeholders, including our farmers, because we source all of our grain from within 50 miles of the plant, this is ensuring the business is successful for the future. So some of it's additional capacity, some of it's making sure that our process continue to run as efficiently and effectively as possible.